Well, I think this will be the most boring presentation today because I on only speak about letters, numbers, about data. Well, let's begin with the boring stuff. Does anybody recognize what this is? DNA yes, right, DNA sequences. There are two of them, and they look alike. They look alike a lot, quite similar, but they aren't. Let's look what they are in real life. <laughs> it's a chimp and I. I can say there's only 3% difference between the chimp and I in the DNA sequence. Well, I think it's quite a big difference. I hope you think so too. <laughs> Let's look at some more data. Does anybody recognize what this is? No. Well, I didn't either. But a colleague said, well, Marion, look, 37. It's your size of shoe. 3707. Well, the, shoe, the numbers are a little bit shifting. 3707. That's my postal code. 43. It's not my age. <laughs> Could be, but it is not, unfortunately. Well, it is the level I've reached by playing the game Smurfs for almost a year. <laughs> you know something about me now. And 1968, well, that's my, that's my year of birth. And 10, 10 is the age of my oldest son. So what you can see is that you can capture my life in data, in who I am, the DNA sequence, and what I do, the numbers. Let's call that my social genome. And the thing is, the question is, can we take out a social genome of a target group out of big data? And the answer is yes, we can. Let's look at some more data. Well, I'm not going to ask if anybody recognizes what this is. Right, it's, it is you. It is about you, all those data. Because it's uh, about 70% of you guys sitting here, because it's about the, the students of the University of the Technical uh, University of Twente. And, um, what, you can, what I can say is that we, have, we can take some averages out of it. And, well, one is quite interesting because you have a high IQ. It's about 120. Well, there are not a lot of female. <laughs> Only 20% is a female student. And yes, you're gaming quite a lot. Two hours per day. And I'm sure some of you do more. I do, I do too. I like the Smurfs and I like the Halo and other kinds of gaming, so... You're drinking 20 beers per week. Okay, I hope there are no parents here or no parents listening. And I'm sure there are some who's drinking lots more. And some other little fact, and it's only a small percentage, but still very interesting because 4.2% of you have sex every day. It's only 4.2%. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you want to explain any? But there is also, well, look around, one out of nine of you is still virgin. Well, let's look at some more data. Yeah, this is not to understand. It's just data and it's... Um, not to read, but it is not big data. Well, what is big data? This is big data. Can you imagine that we, our company, the Greenhouse Group, handle more data than 66 times the amount of stars in our galaxy? It's such a large amount that I even cannot pronounce it, but it is just data. 
it's nothing. It's all about enhancing and understanding the data. The trick is to find the patterns, the cross-references, the trends, the groups. And that, was, that is what we do with the Greenhouse Group. Every year, every month, every day, every week, every day, every hour, every second. We drill data down to a precise profile. It's only a profile, not a person, not a computer. It's only a profile and use it. And I hope now you can understand what a kind of difficult task we have to make that data understandable. Oh, something happened. I hope it, com it comes back. Uh, understandable. Oh. And visible, visible to our customers. Because, well, you can imagine when you have so much data, it's so difficult to explain by excels or by graphs what we do with this data and which decisions they have to make. And that is why we like to use the Oculus Rift. The Oculus Rift is the next generation virtual reality game. And Kuhn, one of my colleagues, he came to me and he said to me, well, I'm going to order an Oculus Rift. And it was, in April, it was in August and we got the Oculus Rift just this April. And I, he said to me, well, we think the Greenhouse Group should do too. Because although the Rift is made for ne next generation virtual reality games, how cool could it be when an architect can use it to develop a city. Here you see a drawing of just a building or a room, and with the Oculus Rift, you can just really find out how the room is. You can walk, walk through it. And how good would it be when an oncologist can communicate with their patients about the growth or decline of their tumor and really can make it visible? And for us, well, how great would it be, really great, when we can use the Oculus Rift for our big data? And I give a little example, because, well, when you, ha when you harvest an apple, just an apple, you have to know how ripe it is. And we use a lot of graphics for it, but it, well, it doesn't say anything. It's, it's just, well, uh, how hard and uh, uh, how, how, how it all works with the apple and the color, but the Oculus Rift says just this, and it makes quite clear, well, it's ready to harvest. So, we're going to the demo, and what is great is that within the greenhouse group, we, um, um, we have a labs, a greenhouse labs, and we ask students to research technology. And well, we have over 20, 21 students now. And uh, we also asked uh, two students, uh, Tristan and Jesse, uh, um, uh, to, do re uh, to do research on them. And maybe they can, up, uh, can come up. We go to the uh, demo time. Koen, Jesse? Yes. And Tristan. And they did some uh, research on it. And we only uh, are there for about three, four weeks working on it. So I give you a very, very little snapshot on what we can well, uh, reach in the future about using the Oculus Rift uh, um, uh, for data visualization. And um, we have to switch now. It's always uh, a little bit of pressure uh, when you have to do a, when you do a right, uh, a really live demo. <laughs> yeah, it's always well. I can I, I can discuss a little bit what you are going to see. What you are going to see is that you are sitting in an office behind a desk, and you are looking at a laptop. The laptop is on the desk, and you see a graph. And what you see is that. 
um, well, uh, it's only data for one hour, for one hour. So it's not really big data, but still a lot of data. And it, it is about an advertisement we uh, used for uh, mobile subscriptions. And what we try, what, what, what we want to find out is which publishes platform, so which advertisement on which purposes platform is working the best. And that we show you by visualization by the Oculus Rift. Well, then it has to work. And there you go, I think, I hope. Okay. Um, I like to have two volunteers out of the audience. Yeah, come up. Yeah, come up. Please. Um, you have to sit because um, it's your first time with the Oculus Rift, I think. Okay, well, sit down then. Because, um, yeah, well, you have to... Uh, you will find out why you have to sit down. Okay. Here are the, here are uh, the, what you see is the, are the two eyeballs in the Oculus Rift, and uh, um, you see the two eyeballs in the Oculus Rift now. Uh, so you see it on two sides, but they they see only one big screen. It's virtual real. Okay. Yeah. Well, we are there in the office, and you see. Um, do you see? Do you see? Uh, um, do you see uh, that you are sitting behind a desk? You do. You don't see anything. Okay, it comes up now. We wait a little bit more. I have 2.15 seconds left, so I think we could use it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're sitting behind your desk. Yeah. Just speak. Yeah. 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 <laughs> try. Try. Try to reach. Yes. Great. Just you can. You can reach the uh, the laptop. Right. Okay. Well, now we're still in the office, and we go to the data. Yes, there we are. And the C is the zero level. The C is the zero level. Okay, look what is coming up. How does it feel? Great? Are you, are you happy that you... <laughs> look, 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 look. Okay, there you see the graphs, and they see that really like you saw that on the laptop. And, um, well, now we are going to the hills, the mountains, the landscape. And we, they are flying through the hills. And what you see is that, well, we, ha we have some opportunities where you see some threes. We still have some opportunity. We didn't spend enough money. We could do there more because there are some opportunities left on that publishing platform uh, because, well, more people like to see that advertisement. But, well, that's already a little, little mountain. I think we had some clicks there already. Some people clicked on the advertisement. Well, and there were some uh, platforms that didn't work. You see the sea level again. So that's nothing, it didn't work. And what we do is, uh, with our company, we optimize uh, a advertisement every, every second. So when it doesn't work, we throw it away and we go to another advertisement or we optimize another platform. And then we go to the hill. Oh. I think you, uh, yeah. We go, I think, to the biggest mountain. And there you have some other mountains. Look, you can... You can go and you can see all the things. How does it feel? I'm afraid of heights. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, poor you. <laughs> well, now we are on our highest, uh, <laughs> highest hill. Well, it, it <laughs> don't look down then. <laughs> <laughs> and what is great, on our highs, le le uh, you see another color, and that is the color that uh, uh, gives a lot of sales. So you can see and you can make it very clear that some hills really worked and some pu publisher platforms, some advertising worked very, very well. And that is what you can do with the data. It's only a snapshot. We worked only 
for three, four weeks on it. So, well, we have a very good feeling about the future and uh, that we can uh, make our data, well, more realistic.